Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about how to be a better singer. How to sing better. You know, I see this question come up a lot. People want to know, how can I sing good? How can I be a good singer? Well, I thought about it and I came up with seven different things that you can start doing today to work on your vocal techniques, to build up your confidence in your stage performance. So keep watching. My name is Karen Page and this is The Performing Voice. So if you want to be a better singer, it's a combination of your vocal technique and your mindset. You know, being confident is different than having a lot of skills or vocal chops. They don't always go hand in hand. So what I'm going to talk about today is going to give you a little bit of both and you can just start working on it today if you wanted to. So number one, be patient. You have to be patient when you're learning a new skill. If you're trying to improve the high notes that you sing, if you're trying to learn how to belt, if you want to learn how to blend your, your chest voice and your head voice, that's going to take time. So be patient with yourself and allow yourself to take the time that you need. Unfortunately, there's a lot of vocal coaches out there. I see them online. They say they can make you sing better in five minutes or this is the only vocal warm up you'll ever need or you can sing like Ariana Grande in a week. Well, that's not entirely true. If you're learning any new skill, singing included, it takes time to get good at it. So give yourself permission to take the time that you need to be a student and work on your vocal skills and you'll get there. Number two, practice, practice, practice. Just like you gotta give yourself time to build up a new skill, you're not gonna build up that skill if you don't practice. So be consistent, follow up as much as you can with your vocal techniques, build on it. Create a schedule if you have to, maybe you're rehearsing, you know, once every other day, maybe it's 15 minutes a day. Maybe you go in and you do an hour long warm up session a few times a week. You have to do something and you have to be consistent. If you want to see results faster, you got to put in the work and practice. Nobody ever gets good at something by not doing it. I like to use metaphors of like exercise and being an athlete and stuff when I think of singing and when I talk about it. And if you wanted to lose 15 pounds, but you only went to the gym once a month, you probably wouldn't lose 15 pounds really fast, would you? Same thing with singing. If you want to see results faster, practice more often and be consistent. Number three, focus on breathing. Breathing is the foundation of good singing. So if you're doing vocal warm-ups and exercises, start out with some deep diaphragmatic breathing exercises because the foundation of where your power is coming from, where your blend is coming from, the support that's gonna let you hit high notes, it's all coming from your diaphragm. It's not coming from your throat, it's not coming from your chest area, and it's not coming from your shoulders. It starts down at the diaphragm. So when you are building up your routine of exercises, always start out with some good diaphragmatic supportive breathing warm-ups. Number four, don't push to get louder. A lot of people think that if you have to sing louder, you have to like push the volume out with more force and more energy. But that's actually not the case. To get louder and to be stronger, it goes back to that good diaphragmatic breathing that I talked about earlier in the video. So if you wanna start developing stronger diaphragmatic breathing, it comes with exercising your diaphragm, which is a muscle. So there's just one little exercise that I like to do to build up my diaphragm muscle. And it's a lot like panting like a dog. If you've ever seen a dog that's like just run around and it's a hot day and they're like, <laughs> same kind of technique but it's a little bit more controlled so what you do is put your hands on your tummy right around where your belly button is when you breathe in you can feel your diaphragm right there and then you literally just breathe in and out of your nose 
and try to push your tummy out and it kind of looks like this. <laughs> it's really weird and it kind of makes you feel silly. <laughs> it makes me feel silly just doing it right now in this video, but trust me, it will work out your diaphragm. And if you do that for, you know, like 30 seconds before you start your vocal warmups, you'll just be working that muscle out and it's gonna get really strong. And that's gonna give you the power that you need to sing louder. So you don't feel like you're pushing or straining, which is gonna end up really hurting your voice in the long run. Number five. Focus on forward placement. Forward placement is basically a concept where you're taking the sound from your voice and the vibrations and you're moving it forward towards the front of your face where your vocal mask is um, kind of more in the muzzle of your voice and it's taking it out of your throat and the back of your throat. We're not gonna really get too much into the technique in this video, but when you're putting together your um, routine of different vocal exercises, you wanna consider forward placement. And if you work with a vocal coach or anything like that, um, they will be able to give you the exercises that you need to practice forward placement. Because basically that's what's gonna allow you to start moving your notes from low to high without getting that break and also getting more openness in the throat so you don't feel like you're, there's any tension when you're singing. Forward placement is gonna be huge in helping you become a better singer. Number six, relax the soft palate. Relaxing the soft palate is going to also reduce the tension that you feel in your throat. And it's also gonna help you with forward placement. So if that term soft palate is new to you, I'll just really quickly explain what it is. So your palate is the roof of your mouth, right? Your hard palate is the area that usually gets burned when you eat pizza that's too hot. It's hard. It's the roof of your mouth. Just if you keep kind of moving back towards the opening of your throat, it starts to soften up. The roof of your mouth gets a little bit softer and you can tell where your soft palate is because it's that feeling you get when you yawn. When you yawn, your soft palate kind of lifts up a little bit. So try yawning, see if you can feel that. And when your soft palate is relaxed, it adds to more openness in your voice. That's gonna reduce the tension you feel, it's gonna reduce soreness, and it's also gonna allow you to move through more notes and kind of travel to higher notes and back down again and all through your range. So just like I mentioned before, we're not gonna get into the technique in this video, but when you're building up your exercise routine, work on different warm-ups that relax your soft palate. <laughs> Last but not least, get some singing experience. The best way to become a better singer is not only to do all the stuff that we just talked about earlier, it's also to get out there and actually do it. The more you gig, the more you perform, the more shows you put on, you will become better because You'll be less nervous every time you go out on that stage. You'll know what to do. You'll feel more comfortable, all the things. So if you wanna be a better singer, you gotta go out and sing in real life, not just in your room, not just in front of a camera. Like go out there, feel the energy, be with an audience, work with other singers, join a band, join a choir, join a show. If you wanna learn a little bit more about that, I'll link up to another video where I talked all about how you can get experience by singing in public. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. But at the end of the day, a singer's gotta sing and singing alone in your room is not gonna make you the best singer you can be. You gotta go out there, try some stuff, make some mistakes, learn some things. All right, y'all, so those are seven things that you can start doing today to become a better singer. So you can stop asking yourself, how do I become a good singer? There you go. The best thing that you can do is just take action. Get started, do something. 
and the information that I share with you in this video will help get you going. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you learn anything at all, go ahead and type yes in the comments below. Let me know if you have any questions, drop them in the comments too. I'd be happy to reply. If you're looking down in the show notes, I have a free guide for you. It's called The Singer's Guide to Superstar Confidence, and it's gonna give you even more tips and techniques that you can use to become a better stage performer. So the link's below in the show notes. All right, y'all, don't forget that the world needs more magic, music, creativity, and art. And when you sing, you bring it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.